major airline wants to find out if additional charges for baggage will affect the airline passengers who choose to fly and how often they choose to fly. They decide to survey passengers who are flying on their airline. So let's look at how they choose to do this survey. They choose 30 of their flights over a one-week period and survey all the passengers on these flights. What sampling method is used by the airline? Now in this problem, you'll notice that they are selecting 30 flights. These 30 flights can be considered clusters. And it's important to note that these flights are selected randomly. When you select clusters, you must select the clusters randomly. This is not a multi-stage. It's simply how you have to select the clusters. Even more, we then do a complete census of the clusters. Now this question is pretty much pure memorization. You need to be able to define simple random sample, convenience, cluster, systematic, and stratified. So make sure to go over to the Quizlet and review up because any of these questions could appear and you might have to know the definitions for any of these different types of sampling methods. Next, what is the sampling frame used? Now, when we think about the sampling frame, we need to define what it is. The sampling frame is all people or things we have access to in the population. And it's important to note, these are the people or things we have access to in the population. So when it comes to the people we could have surveyed, it would be all people who flew on this airline during that week of the survey, because technically we could have surveyed any of them. Now the people we actually surveyed would be in the survey. All of our passengers who fly on our airline over all time are our population of interest. They're the people we want to understand, but only the people we have access to and could have possibly surveyed are our sampling frame. The people who we actually sample are the sample. Make sure to know these definitions for population, sample frame, and sample. Also, an additional note would be the parameter of interest. And for this question, the parameter of interest was what they think about baggage fees. The parameter of interest is what we want to collect on and understand about the population of interest. Explain one potential source of bias using this sampling method. And there are a lot of answers to this question. We could talk about how people could give us response bias. Imagine if the stewardess is standing over you as you fill out this comment card. That would definitely sway what you're going to say. In that instance, your response would not be the actual response that you actually would give. So there would be bias in the response. Also, there could be non-response bias. People who are angry might not want to fill out their comment card and might leave the flight before turning it in. Thus, we're not getting the true idea of what's going on because people are not responding due to some sort of bias. Next, we could talk about under coverage. Imagine we did the survey during spring break, maybe when a lot of college students are flying. Maybe college students are happy or unhappy in a way that the general population is not. Under coverage means that we did not properly sample the population and get all the views. So if we had too many college students in our sample, we would have undercovered our general population, which is probably a lot of elderly people, adults, and maybe some children who their parents are probably paying for the flights anyways. But there's a lot of ways you could go with this question. If you ever come across a question like this on the test, make sure to mention some key topics we've talked about in class, such as response bias, undercoverage bias, and also non-response bias. Finally, Suppose instead that the airline decides to survey passengers on all of its flights on a single day by selecting every 10th passenger entering each of its planes to take the survey. What sampling method is being used? So once again, we have to remember all the definitions here, but we're sampling every 10th passenger. This would be a systematic sample. Now specifically, a systematic sample chooses a random starting point and then selects every kth observation. So we could assume that they started at a random time and then selected every 10th passenger. This is definitely systematic and you'll need to make sure you know all the definitions here for a simple random sample, convenience, cluster, systematic, and stratified. Take a moment and check out the chapter review video which goes over all of these topics. It can be found on the YouTube channel.